my lovely Sagittarians, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we'll do a reading which has been quite requested by all of you loves and most likely we'll look for the energies as we speak right now till the end of the year, October till December. What spirit wants you to know till the end of the year? Could be in regards to a situation you are in, could be in regards to a relationship you have with someone in particular, could be any message. So let's dive in and see what we got. This again is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Signs and Venus. If you really enjoy this reading or really feel connected with this reading, give it a like, subscribe, share it. And of course, leave your feedback, which is very much appreciated. All right, Sagis, what we have for you. And of course, what are those messages spirits want you to know? Eight of Wands. A lot of energies are opening up. Of course, a lot of things. Eight of, eight of Wands speaks of in the next eight weeks. Two months. Could be by December. Why not? And I'm recording this reading in the beginning of the month of October. So news, communication movement a lot of things buckle up underneath we have six of wands enjoyment six of wands speaks of a winning card it's a victory card there's a lot of things here that you will be feeling proud of yourself to achieve so as i said buckle up loves the first card we have a hangman quite a lot of things felt like not moving. Probably many, many times we need to see it from a different perspective. Ten of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, could be a, a situation here with an Earth sign or a Pisces, or could be regards your job work. Four of Cups, Six of Cups. It's like your happiness comes back. King of Cups, Five of Pentacles here. Page of Swords and the world. Glad to see this world. So for many, many Sages, a period of stagnation in your life, it's ending. It's a big ending. It's kind of, this is not going to happen. And speaking of, for some of you, yes, you could put a lot of sacrifice in something, but indeed your happiness comes back. For some of you, you, you might end a connection with someone, but also someone might, might not feel quite, quite in the energy where they should be, where they want to. So the world brings refreshment, news, a period is done. And it seems here that you've been struggling very, very, very much. I do have water energy, earth energy, water more likely a Piscean. Page of Swords here, air, water, air, earth. So let's see what popping out here very strong. This hang of man, six of swords, three of wands, and ace of cups. So moving on from a situation which really didn't give you too much. So for those of you who felt stuck, Spirit is assure you that you, my darling, will move on. Might take one month, three weeks and six days, but you could be stagnant for 
almost two years in a situation. The fact is something new on the horizon. Something new on the horizon. The Five of Pentacles here speaks of temperance Ace of Swords Five of Wands Knight of Pentacles Give you time to process certain things Because indeed here, certain things might take time to understand them. The Ten of Swords will Five of Cups And lovers. So for the Sag I'm speaking here, you might have strong water in your chart. You could deal here with the water, but I see you having very strong watery energy. You could deal here with an air or earth energy. I see a fixed zodiac sign. The fact is some Sagis felt left out in the cold. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. The only one missing is Five of Swords. And Five of Swords speaks very, very strongly of someone who tries something to do on you because of their selfish reasons. So somebody here tried something and you probably choose to move on because the universe is there, help you to go or to move on. And choosing to go healing was quite hard, but you knew as we have the Ace of Swords, you knew That things will not be easy. One thing to let you know, whoever you were dealing here, Sag, they did not forget you. So for some of you, you might have that big surprise seeing them again. However, you have something new. Be very careful who you let in and who you are let re-enter into your life. Because let's clarify this world. Eight of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. The Empress. Six of Pentacles and the sun. Because the world's world gives you a new opportunity and that opportunity is for growth, balance and expansion big time. For those of you Sages who might let someone back into your life I feel here they they could walk away from someone and might come to you because they see potential in you now, not back then. So again, five of swords on the horizon. Coming again, hey, let's fulfill the life and because for whatever reason. Be very careful, loves. Because the world gives you opportunity to close doors and open others. 
because the sun is here. It's kind of the, um, the ball is in your court. You choose to do whatever you want with it. Know that. As well here we have six of pentacles, six of cups, six of swords. And we've seen here the six of wands. Eight of wands. So for some of you, you might receive by the end of the year certain messages from someone probably wants to win you over or probably you to say them that you are over them. Because Six of Wands is kind of like I'm above whatever I used to be. So be very mindful as well. The number six this year is a six number. And six is all about balance. Balancing the relationships. Balancing the things around. Inclusive the lovers. The Gemini energy of lovers. You choose to balance the things in your life. But look at here. The universe help you to leave something behind by choosing something new. It's kind of like do not ignore the divine intervention because the universe was here to get you out from something very, very difficult. The, six, the Four of Cups here, clarified by the Hermit. Whatever was it's like the science was there. You just needed to look deep down, deep inside. Alright, loves. Let's see, the best advice. The best advice but before the best advice here we get if there is new love for sages who are there page of cups we have water energy could be this king of cups so if there is new love as you see here in this page of cups we have ace of cups could be a water sign there is a new opportunity for you, loves. Absolutely. And of course, comes in quick, your decision. The best advice as right now, by the end of the year, Knight of Swords. Yes, indeed, somebody here is rushing back in. But also, for many, many sages, don't rush doing certain things. We have two of cups, the emperor. Yeah, somebody here is quite determined to be back into your life. Knight of cups, but you also have another offer. Nine of pentacles, you are to choose. So, Sagittarius, you do have two opportunities here. With the water, with an air, earth energy. Somebody here might come back. Someone here is totally new. But it seems here that Sagis, you are quite a gem. With the magician and nine of pentacles here, you are so much in your energy your vibration it's such higher it's kind of hard to get to you whomever is the new or the old but you see the opportunity and it seems here whoever 
yes, there is someone here rushing back in, but there is a new person who actually wants the the whole thing from you. Any other one to choose? That's why there's need of balance here to have the real thing. So no loves. Underneath we have the page of pentacles here. Underneath the page of pentacles we have queen of wands and then the chariot. So certain things here indeed are changing and then death. Big changes for many, many sages. And let's see, loves, where is in the first place the Five of Swords? Also, one of these two, most likely this one in here, it's more likely will pretend to put effort into the connection. Be careful. It's very, very strongly to be careful. As the Spirit says, always, always follow your intuition, no matter what. Do not deny your intuition. And as well here, page of wands is the only page missing. Don't dwell in any toxic environment with whomever because there are certain things here you clearly need to see. Communication more. And because certain things here, someone might try in a way, might not be really great for you or benefiting you. And here's the Five of Swords. The next we have Four of Wands, King of Wands, the tower, ten of wands. So be very careful, someone here, not steal the happiness what's coming into you because of their own lies. Okay? As well, whoever here comes back into your life, they they might text you late in the day or later evening or it's kind of the second part of the day and they are it's kind of they are not an early bird they are an owl they could stay late at night for some of you what i'm gathering here if there is someone here who moved or left you or whatever and moved to a whole different country they are time change is different than yours so for example if for you it's morning for them it's night for you it's night for them it's morning and something like that so the time change is very very different so sag that's how the spirit is sending you these messages you have choices the universe is still on your energy and help you. However, you don't need to rush to make any decisions. You do what you feel is right. And as well, also, also I will look where is the Knight of Wands as the Knight missing in here. The way you are consistent or someone is consistent will show itself in a very short time. So look for consistency. Don't rush into making any big decisions. And keep your freedom in a way. Here's the Knight of Wands, Hierophant, Fool. And Four of Pentacles, Strength. There's something here, here you hold on. You are stronger than that. And there is a leap of faith into something stable. So it's kind of welcome to the new energy. As well, for some of you, believe kind of the energy comes, believe, I believe if I see it, 
because somebody here might promise you certain things and they may not follow their promises okay quite a reading for you loves but this is what the spirit wants you to know and of course if you really enjoy it let us know and of course see you next time namaste